Hi guys, my name is Albert Tan. Welcome to today's session of a uh, video review. Today I'm going to talk about this uh, photo kit review. So before we go into this uh, review in detail, uh, I would like to ask you a few questions. Basically as a website owner or maybe as a designer or maybe as a website agency, a lot of times you are asked by customer or you have to do some uh, photo editing because uh, they send you photos which are actually not professionally done and you need to do a lot of uh, touching up as well as uh, maybe resizing, uh, cropping, that kind of thing. So I have come across this uh, photo kit uh, app which I find that is uh, very interesting. That's why I need to go to do this uh, photo kit review uh, with you guys. So this is what I found out. And before we actually go into the detail of the app, uh, this is actually uh, my write up of the review. So, and you can see that, you no, know, this is the buy link, you know. So in case you need to buy, uh, just click the link and you will go back, go to the review page. So without further ado, let me uh, tell you what is actually uh, photo kits uh, is all about. So photo kit can be said to be a AI powered uh, online photo editor. And to be frank, uh, I find that this is a very convenient and easy to use as compared to others. Uh, photo editors or maybe uh, what they call other apps you know, in the market such as uh, Crello or Canva, the kind of uh, app because those are very full flash uh, uh, what they call video or photo editors but here photo kit is only a photo kit uh, photo editor as well as a batch image processor so I would like to show you later uh, how you can use this tool step by step and you can get a lot of good result uh, from these uh, photo kits so let's go into the main features so you will be surprised that you know uh, photo kits actually have 38 image tools you know so these are the tools uh, effects uh, background removal image retouch uh, one touch a uh, one tap enhance photo capability no, you can also correct the perspective uh, view, you know, and you can make collages uh, as well as uh, cropping, resizing, rotating, and apply some uh, basic edits, you know. And they also come with a lot of uh, stock photos, you know. Uh, they claim that they have 2.3 million photos, illustration, and as well as uh, vector graphics. And it works on all platforms, you know, cross-platform because uh, this is online, uh, cloud-based. And other than photo editor, you actually have this uh, batch image processor as well. <clears throat> this comes uh, very useful if you need to do uh, bulk editing, such as uh, a resizer, they will crop the photos or compress the photo or even convert the photo into different format. You can even add watermark, you know, uh, add some filters and also a mass uh, renaming of the files. Okay, let me go through to review what is my uh review uh like uh the first impression is that you know uh this photo kit website is actually uh quite a minimalistic uh, website and it's clean and uh, easy to to look at it you know so this is a home page so below here they have they have listed down all the tools you know image tools 38 of them you can have a look here uh then let me go into the site map. You know, this site map is important because uh, it will tell you what is the tool uh, being called in this uh, photo kit. For example, they call it cutout. Actually, it's a background remover, and they call uh, the tool called in paint. Actually, uh, you actually uh, magically delete uh, object from images. You know, let me show you how what they mean. For example, okay, uh, background remover. Everybody knows. So this is actually uh, already removed. This is the original photos. And this is called a uh, cutout uh, in the tool. And for in paint, they actually delete object from images. For example, here, the object is this guy walking uh, along this road, a um, small lane, maybe behind there is uh, some brick wall. So after editing, the image of the guy is gone. So they call it uh, in paint. 
Okay, let's move further down. Um, clarity, basically, you are talking about make the image more sharper or clearer. So this is uh, actually the old image. Then after that, you get a clearer or maybe sharper images. And this is uh, exposure. Exposure, basically, you actually uh, make the photo uh, more balanced in the, the lighting. So for example, this is an old, old, uh, old image. After I, uh, we correct it using this uh, photo kit and become uh, brightened up. So these are the main uh, tools that they are describing here. But we are going to detail on the what you call this uh, photo kits. So let's go into detail. Okay, when you first sign up or you have a have a real license, there are two ways of uh, doing this uh, going into this photo kit. One is actually using photo editing, which actually you can see here. The other one is a batch processing. Batch processing means uh, let me show you. You can actually resize it, scale your photo, crop your photo, transform your photo. Transform basically means uh, you try flip it left or right or up or down. Compress, as you know, you uh, make the quality of the photo become smaller. Cropping, I think everybody know. Resize actually is also uh, try to reduce a pixel. And you can convert your photo into various uh, images uh, format. You no, know? PNG, JPEG, GIF, uh, uh, WEBP, ICO, uh, BMP, TIFF. The only exception is they don't have a SVG. You know? So maybe they can do it in the future. And you can also do watermark. You, know? you can add watermark into your uh, photos. So that is a uh, batch processing because you can add your photos uh, in, I do not know how many. I've tried with uh, 10, 20, it's no problem. So let's go into the photo editor. So this is the photo editor, uh, uh, what I call platform here. So bear in mind, they have two parts of the tool. What is called photo editor. The other one is a batch image processors. Okay, let's go into detail now. Let's start editing using the photo editor. Okay, this is the what I call the interface. You know, uh, to be frank, the interface sometimes uh, when you first doing it, you might find that what is it all about? You know, it's just a small square here, and below are the tools. You know, so you need some maybe some little bit of a learning curve. You know, but I'm going to show you. It's quite simple actually. So you have the tools listed below. So once you have a photo, either you, uh, what you call, uh, use a sample photo here, or you can search the photo inside here, or you can also open your photos uh, from your hardware, uh, from your hard disk. So let's say we create a new photo, for example, here. So this is the size that we want. Let's say we create it. We search for the photo in the photo stock. So you can search by name or any other uh, name that you want to search maybe we just take some simple uh takes one or two photos to just do some demo maybe let's go i want to look for images of a of a lady maybe a woman so you will search the images of a woman maybe just use this one you know uh, Anyone will do. Let's go in. Click. Okay. Let's do a cutout. A cutout means a background remover. We try to remove the back background of this lady jumping on the beach. It's very simple. Just click here. It will do the processing. So it takes about maybe less than a few seconds. You know, this is quite simple. One or two seconds. So you can see that you know uh, it's quite fast and also. Uh, uh, I would say quite good, you know. So you can actually flip it, you know, if you want. Let's say you flip it, you know, you can duplicate it if you want. You don't want, you just uh, delete it. So this is the undo button. Oh, okay. So this is what we call a uh, cutout. So after that, uh, let me show you, or maybe we can just say that, you know, you want to change the, uh, let's say we want to go back to our cutout. Search the photo again. 
uh, maybe woman we didn't save it so you have to redo one more time okay this is a photo so let's go it we do the cutout so this is the cutout so for example now you want to add a background uh, this is a below the color background or you're going to add images at the background if you need if you want to <clears throat> let's say you want to put uh, the canvas background as a brown color just do it like that or maybe this uh, light blue and this is the color palette you know so it's quite simple so we just don't want to do it you know we just uh okay for example now we want to go back to our original answer it so we cut out one more time now you want to add an image as a background so if you don't want to add the image you can actually search here so as a background maybe we can choose any you know if you want to let's say we just do here see what how it look like yeah so you can see that you know the ladies are jumping uh, on on the on the road so i actually deleted it already so no problem let's close it and that's it so this is the cutout so we don't want to save it you know they just uh, want to do another time uh, another editor let's uh, refresh this uh, page okay you or you can use a sample you know as here you know for example this uh this lady uh, playing tennis just do and cut out yeah you can see that you no know, it's uh, quite beautifully done okay just cancel it then we do another one refresh it this is the car that we have tried before so let's do the cut out so so this is called background remover okay so it's quite uh simple to do let's uh move on and uh, try out other tools okay bear in mind that uh there is practically no limit of how many photo can you do uh, for background removal so you have saved a lot of money if you want to <clears throat> do a lot of uh, a background removal of all your photos so this is one of the good point of this uh, app okay let me do some other things say let's me create this photo first let's uh, search some photos let me try out the remove the objects you know uh, what i call from the scenery mm, i have let me see uh, try some just a beach okay Maybe I can, I would like to try this and see whether we can remove the, the leaf on the beach. So the in paint tool is here, you know, you can remove the objects. So you got the brush size, so maybe we choose a, something in, in uh, not very big and not very small or uh, intermediate. So let's see. okay let's do it see how good is the removal now it's processing take some time maybe a few more minutes i hope it's not too long <laughs> So there are many tools in the 
in the photo editor, I've counted is actually 38 tools. So there are many, you know. So this is the example of the uh, removal of the background. Might not look very perfect because the object is quite big, you know. So maybe we can try another one. Reload. Create new. Search another. Uh, maybe we try the beach again. So just now we tried this uh, remover. So because uh, the loop is quite big, so and the background uh, might not be homogeneous enough to uh, what it call to give you a good output. Maybe we try something that is uh, quite easy to do. Let me see what kind of. Uh, okay, let's try the stone. Let's see whether the stone uh, will be removed. Uh, beautifully okay try this one okay we are removing the stone removing the stone okay let's see whether it will be removing all the all the stone you know the stone is quite big actually waiting 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 yeah so you can see that the stone is gone you know so not 100 percent perfect but then if you go uh, have a look at the one look i think it's acceptable so this is how uh in paint is uh being uh, uh used to remove object you know uh, from uh, to what I call remove the object from the photos you know just to see the background okay let's try the other tools for example okay I try to finish all the tools here but then it will take a long time but we do it fast see whether uh, it will be uh, okay let's uh, search a photo first uh, let's say beautiful woman Beautiful woman. We search a photo of beautiful woman. There are many of them. Mm, this one is good. Okay, maybe try this one. Okay, so this photo is uh with a very sexy and also wild lady. So we have tried the cutout tool, in paint tool. We are not going to do it. Maybe we try this smooth. Or uh, smoothing too, you know, uh, where you can make it smoother on the edges or whatever. Let's try it. So basically, the image become a uh, more smoother. Okay, we don't want to do it. We want to use back the same photo, so we undo it. So now we do this uh, clarity, you know, to make it sharper. Let's click it as simple as uh, that. Yeah, you can see that you know the the outline, you know the the colors, you know, become sharper in this case. And we click back. This is to see the old photos. Okay, so clarity is quite good. Smooth because I think maybe the photo is already quite smooth, so you can't see a lot of difference. So let's talk about uh do this to uh, exposure. Let's click it exposure okay so it's uh, actually uh, brighten up the the photo make it more uh what they call uh, that daylight kind of uh exposure okay let's uh undo it this is the we try the balance balance means uh make the color balance uh, in the whole photo let's see how it perform Click the balance okay so mm. basically i think this ladies uh become a uh, slightly i mean more contrast and more beautiful and the background become a uh, more whiter okay let's uh, undo it okay correction this is actually if you have a slanting photo you can actually uh, use this uh, tool to make it like going straight maybe let me check whether can we uh, see some example over in their website maybe they can 
let's go back. Yeah, let's try. I, I think I've seen that. Yes, this is the photo. So you can see that the original photo is actually at a slanting. You know, some of the images, uh, I mean, the, the people and the object are slanting. So after correction, it becomes like that. So it becomes straightened up. I mean, horizontal, you know, uh, as a sea level. So this is called a correction tool. Okay, so we are not going to try this because I don't have a slanting photo here. And effects, I think this is quite simple. We just try it. Uh, just click here, then you have different kind of effects. Uh, 1997, 1977, uh, they have a different name for different kind of effects, you know. So this is called a black current, you know. This is Charmage. So there are many kind of, uh, let's go, yeah, many kind of uh, effects, you know. So this is crema, you know, that kind of thing. So you can see that there are so many of them. Oh, this is extreme. This is embossed. This is extreme. This is fade out. This is faded. I don't see any faded. <laughs> okay, this is Fuji. Okay, let's go to the next uh, effect. The uh, next uh, tool called Style. Let's click it. Okay, this is basically uh, you mix two two photos. You know, this is the, actually the like the fire background. If you can upload it, your know, another photo to blend it. Let's see what's the effect like. It go wild. Okay, this is the output, you know, so fire burning at the background, you know, with the ladies here. So this is one of the style. Filters, this is quite common, you know, uh, different kind of uh, uh, color scheme, you know. I would say, let's say, grayscale. This is black and white. This is sharpen it. Oh, no, we have to un. Let go redo the other thing. Okay, we sharpen it. So I think this is too sharpened already. <laughs> Then vintage, unclick, then Polaroid. So there are many of them. So let's uh, unclick it first. Then this is a Sophia. It's a sort of common kind of a, what I call filter that you can apply it, you know, even in your camera, some of them. So let's uh, cancel it. So we have gone through effect, style, filter, and sketch. It's actually quite simple. You just uh, click it and use something like uh, using a pencil to sketch the the photos, you no, know, for the ladies. Okay, let's uh, undo. And this is a uh, cartoon, uh, cartoonize the the photos. Uh, this is quite interesting. You can actually, let me show you. Let's click it. So the ladies' photo become uh, like a cartoon kind of a uh, 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 picture. If you click one more time, it make it more cartoon. You see, if we click the third time, so it become, uh, I would say, I do not know how to say it, you know, become become more cartoon, you know, that kind of thing. So let's say we undo it the second time, undo it, then this is the, the first cartoonized. Let's undo it. Yeah, this is the original photos. Okay, let's move to the, the other tools. The other tools are draw. Okay, draw is uh, quite easy, you know. You just draw whatever you want to draw, you know. So let's say the brush size, the image, maybe the color. Maybe we choose this color. Okay, so it's quite simple. You can choose different color as well, red color. No, we haven't chosen the brush type. This is the, what I call the brush type, but we use a round one, it's easier. Okay, let's go back to the our tool. Okay, let's come to the dodge and also burn uh, tools. We undo this photo first. Okay, let's, so this is the photo. Dodge actually in uh, photo editing, meaning uh, 
make certain part of a photo become a, what they call brighter or whiter. So it's the opposite of burn. Burn is uh, to make some part of your photo become uh, darker or maybe blacker, that kind of thing. So let's try. But I think you might not achieve a good result here because uh, let's try, see whether it will help us. Okay, let me plug in my battery. So, for example, okay, use this brush size. Maybe you brighten up the face. See whether it really brighten up the face. Okay, so I don't really see the difference. <laughs> so let's close it. And the opposite is actually burn, burn to make it uh, darker. No? Let's say we try again, make it darker. Make it. Make the face darker. So this is the darker face. This is the original face. So the difference might not be a lot, you know, but maybe depend on the photos. Okay, let's close it. Okay, desaturate. Let's try how is uh what do you mean desaturate? Basically, you know, uh, to mix some of the photo become uh, less colorful kind of things. For example, let me try the face. Okay. So you actually desaturate the face. So the other part of the body is still the original color. So this one is make it like uh, more into a black and white kind of things. So this is how they do. This is quite nice. You know, you want to desaturate uh, the colors on the certain part of the photos. <coughs> okay, blur. Let me undo first so that we can. Uh, okay, blur is quite simple. Actually, you are bl blurring the. The parts that you know you want to blur for example you want to blur the eyes or the uh, eye region you know okay so you are blurring the eye region you know some people say oh, i want to concentrate on the lips you know that kind of thing okay let's uh undo close it then mosaic mosaic basically to you know uh, how I say, you know, the pixel it, you know, so that you don't want to people to see the the part that you want to cover up, you know, for example, you want to do here. Let's do it. So this is actually uh, called mosaic, you know. Let's close it. And eraser. Let's uh, close it and undo first. Eraser, I think, is quite simple. Uh, we just erase certain part of it. Maybe we just want to erase the mouth. Maybe click the size here. So, actually, the mouth is already erased. You know, if you download it. Okay. So, you want to make the strength bigger, you can do it. Let's try. Let's say maybe we re erase the hand. So basically, you know, this is the the hand is actually erased. So quite quite a simple tool, you know. And let's say move to the next tool magic so let's say we go back undo undo one more time to go back to the original okay the background so background actually you can change the background or the or the color of the background here for example you want to change to white 
canvas white apply okay let's change the in the background image plus the image using this uh, background so then you have a uh, layers here Let's go up. Now let's uh, do the colorizing uh, again. Let's uh, click this button. And we want to make this, uh, the lady photos uh, into other colors. Uh, maybe we just want to do it into this color, uh, slightly green. Maybe put the strength into the maximum. Let's say we click here. So you can see that, you know, uh, the lady's photos become uh, green again. So if we click more, I think most of the photos become green. Click. So they actually de uh, colorize the whole photo. You know, click every part, you know, let's say you click here. So this is how to use the colorizer function. Okay, let's undo it. Undo, 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 undo. Okay. Let's go, go back to the original. Okay, this is the original photo so let's close it now and next uh, we go to the background okay before we can use the background we need to cut out the, the background first let's cut out the background take the photo okay this is the background already being cut you know so just uh, apply here then go to the background background tools you know you can add the colors if you want or you can add the image if you want so let's say we just add them the, the colors you know for example we added a white color so it become white so if you want to add another color just change the background color or you want to change other colors let's do here maybe we choose a red color I couldn't get a color. Apply. Okay, let's let try this uh, uh other background. Oh, the background is no more. So you have to try again. Do you want the color? Try the photos. Maybe we try this uh, background. Just choose any background. Okay, so you arrange the layers. The ladies' photo will be in the, in the front, uh, not background at the back. So this is how we do the background chain. Let's uh, undo it. Okay, you can actually add text. Uh, this is quite simple, you know, just uh, this color, just type your text, you know, that kind of thing. So it's quite simple. Then you can add shape. Shape is also quite simple. So any kind of shape, you know, triangle, that kind of things. So we are not going to do it, you know, <laughs> because this doesn't make any sense. Uh, stickers, sticker, I think, yeah, it's quite simple. It's some emoticon or whatever. 
Google AI. So we can add that kind any kind of a sticker. So let's close it. <clears throat> and we come towards the end. So the resize we crop and clipping. This is quite simple. You want to resize the photo. So reach is the original size. So you want to make it smaller. You know, you just maybe maintain the aspect ratio. Maybe we just put uh make this size smaller. Let me decrease. Maybe five hundred. So it become we will just apply. So it become a uh, photo or resize, and you can download it. You know, if you want to. So you are going to undo it. So cropping is quite simple. Just crop whatever place that you want to crop. Maybe that's it, you know, easy. So you want to do uh, maybe some ratio cropping, it's all here. So this is uh, 16 by 10, 3 quarter, 3 by 4, that kind of thing. So let's cancel it, you know. Undo first, get back the original photo. And clipping, clipping means uh, what? Have different sizes. Uh, clip it, you know, so that the photos are looks more funky, you know. So you can do all kind of uh, clipping, rhombus size. I don't know what size a hepta heptagon. Okay, cancel it. Then transform, transform. I think is a flipping, you know. So you can flip it up and down, left and right, up and down. Okay, or you can rotate it, you know, it's quite similar. Okay, this is how we do, quite transform is easy to understand. Focus, I, I believe, you know, this is special effect, zoom, blur, uh, tilt, shift, that kind of thing. So you can adjust. I think this is the handler, you know, to say, make, make it, which is uh, more blur, that kind of things. The uh, focus, this is warp, you know, so the photo become a warp, a swirl, you know, then a uh, bulge and pinch. So it's kind of a funny effect, perspective. Okay, zoom blur. So we are not going to play with it. It's, it's quite simple, only thing that you know you have to uh, explore with it by itself. Then the last few tools are actually uh, quite simple. Corners, so what are the corners? Radius, make it rounder, that kind of things. Frame, you got different type of frame, you know. Okay, make it this frame, another frame, you know, whatever frame that you want to. So, <clears throat> then collage. Collage, actually, you have to add in the photos, you know. So, but I don't have photos here, so you can have different kind of uh, shape, you know. You add in the photos, then you arrange it in the, in the collage manner. Then uh, stitching. So stitching also you need a uh, different kind of uh, uh, photos. Uh, if you take two or three photos, you can stitch it together. It become this photo. So this is uh, I don't prepare any photos, so I can't do it now. But this is the function. Okay, that's it. So for merge and blending, uh, we can't do it here because you must have a uh, what I call this. Uh, remove the background, then choose a, another a photo and blend it together. That kind of thing. So basically, this is how uh, uh, we have done. Maybe I've been close to 38 tools that I know uh, use these photo kits. So let's go into the next tool that is actually batch processing, you know. So this is the batch processing tool. Let me go into the next piece. Processing tool. Okay, so for the batch processing tools, it's uh, quite simple as well. There are a few functions you can do. Uh, for example, you can resize, you can scale it, crop it, transform, compress, uh, convert. You know, convert means convert to different file format and put format. Uh, watermark. Let's do a watermark. You know, I like to do this on watermark. Okay, let's choose my my logo first. Uh, let me search my logo. Hold on. Huh?
Okay, I will upload my logo. <clears throat> so I uploaded my logo. And I also need to choose my file first. Okay, let's choose my file. I have actually prepared some my own photos. Let uh, me check where are they. Okay, I'm locating it. Okay, I'm uploading three photos. Uh, this is my own photos, you know, simple photos. So this is my car, front view, back view. You know, this is a mark, you know. So I want to uh, kind of uh, put the watermark, you know, uh, my download silo watermark here and show you how to do it right. So these are the X, Y coordinate. You can arrange it. So you just have to click this button, you know, after you have set the coordinate. For example, this is uh, X0, uh, Y0 actually is, I think, on the tab, top left-hand corner, if I'm not wrong. So we just click this button, go, then it process it, uh, three photo at one time. Let's click it. Yeah, that's correct. So you can see that, you know, the download silo logo is already on top. So let's view it. So it's all here. So this is how uh, batch processing is being done. Okay, so can I enlarge, have a look, you know, all my photo. So let us me go back. Let me try this, see, this is the mark. This is the mark, okay. So it's on the top left hand corner. Okay, if you want to change the location of the watermark, you can do so. For example, maybe you want to do the top right corner. Top right corner. Let's undo this uh, watermark first. I put to 65 because just now I tried it. You no, know, it's on the top corner. Then why is the uh, same? Because we are doing on the top right corner. Just press this button. It will process it. Yeah, this is a top right corner. Let's view it. Okay, this is top right corner. You can adjust the <clears throat> the position to be make it more accurate. Maybe you put 66. 66. Okay, undo. Do one more time to put the watermark. Okay, this is more to the corner. Let's view it. Yeah, you can see that the watermark is here. <clears throat> so undo it. Maybe you want to put on the bottom left. Bottom left, uh, maybe Y we have to put to 90. 90, just click. Bottom right, so this is on the bottom right now. Okay, so let's try the last one on the bottom left. Undo first. Make it this zero. Click the button. Okay, now it's on the bottom left. So you can see that, you know, the logo is on the bottom left now. Yeah. So if you do not want to do watermark using your image, you can actually use text, you know. Let's undo this one. Let's do text. Put download silo. Okay, we choose a larger picture, a larger font size, or else it will become uh, not nice. Let's say make it white color. I think we put it center, middle, yes. Just click. You can see that the watermark is there. So it's up to you. You want to put black color or maybe smaller font size, you know. Or maybe you want to adjust the location of your water watermark. It's up to you. Left, center, right, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. So this is how uh, we do the batch processing. So this is watermark. So for resize, it's the same thing, you know, you just have to key in your maximum size that you want to resize, you know, 
over here and for for transformation i think it's quite simple you just uh, <laughs> let's say you want to transform it left right if i'm not wrong just click the button it will just transform it okay transform one more time go back to the original okay compress you uh, know you also can compress the quality if you want to uh, specify the maximum kind of a uh, megabyte and uh, or the maximum width or the height so convert say this is in jpeg if i'm not wrong you can convert it into maybe webp if you want to let's say we convert so if you download you become a uh, this one will become a uh, webp i mean this photo will become webp so this is useful for for you to actually uh, want to put up different kind of a file format into your website so for example you want to put a icon you know a icon file or maybe make it a gif file you can do it here so for smaller size of the photos uh, you can put it webp so that you can reduce the weight of the photos into your website so that's all uh, i think we have covered most of the batch processing here because uh, you want to process the thing you take long time you know if 100 photos i do not know how many photos at one time you can do it but then we tried a few is actually uh, quite successful so that's it uh, let's go back to our review that we recap uh, we have done the photo editor 38 tools i know except one or two tools i think i run into difficulty because i'm not sure <laughs> how to do it, you know so but never mind we can actually come back you know so so first impression you know a uh, website is clean you know cloud-based and cross-platform you know whatever you use ios or windows or android or chrome no problem so the post is here uh this is a cloud-based uh kind of uh, editor you use you, you can see it you know whatever you do you can see you know what you see is what you get editing you know so it's quite easy to use only thing that you have to uh, familiarize with it you know because uh, sometimes you might not be able to know what to do so if you run into difficulty you can just go into the what should i say the the bottom here okay you click here let's say uh, for example you do not understand what is a uh, uh, burn you just click here you tell you you know it become make it darker you know now make it darker the area become darker so go back and one good thing is about that you add a uh, bash image processor as has shown in the last uh what i call a uh, uh, processing you can watermark it you know convert your file you know rename your file compress your file resizing your file and recopying your file and you have unlimited usage for all the tools you know and also mean that you can un, uh, have unlimited downloading as long as you know you have a paid license in addition you have this 2.3 million uh, stock photos you know illustration or no vector graphics okay so something that i don't like mm, it's quite obvious because uh, there's no tutorial on how to use it on the website you know no template you know but then you can use the 2.3 million stock photos there and the ux of the uh, experience i mean user experience of the app could be better you know with a two tip telling user how to use it you know so if you are first timer using the tool uh could be quite overwhelming because uh you look at this uh, interface what are you going to do with all this thing you know there's no instruction on how to do it you know so but of course i have tried uh, uh the tool before i actually do the demo so i've tried most of them so that's why i can uh, demo to you quite easily so these are the cons you know but then you for any new tools you actually need to try it before you can actually uh, uh, use it effectively and this sitemap is important you know you click the sitemap which actually tell you uh, what are the tools function of the tools and uh, the various uh, way to explain the tools okay for example the first 10 lines i think okay uh, Cutout means background removal, in paint, remove object from the images, and then clarity, correction, uh, balance, that kind of thing. So, this is the sitemap. Okay, guys, uh, these are the 
what I call a review I have uh, for you guys. I you know, uh, check out these tools and if you like it, you know, uh, why not, you know, uh, buy it and see what it can do for you. And personally, I've actually bought it and I find it uh, will be useful for my, for my own use. So with this, uh, I would like to say thank you for your time, you know, and hope that you, you like my review. And I would like to say bye-bye.